Alright, so I got my homemade pitching machine. I got a Adrian Taylor tire and I made a little a piece. Last time I made it like a little hole. I got some lug nuts to make it a little more balanced. Not a whole lot. Uh, for my friction plate, I got a little piece of like some soft bumper. Uh, I got a 180 volt DC motor and a little stand. I got kind of skinned it up. I'm going to do it. I got 180. I got 220 AC running into it, and uh, I've got a rectified. I got a rectified here. The DC voltage, and I got a capacitor there to sort of smooth things out a little bit. So let's see how. I got it right now. I got a four speed. I haven't thrown a pitch four speed yet. So let's see how hard it'll throw four speed. I'm gonna drop the ball right through that tree. I need to make a little cute, but that's the song. So that third one's about 40 foot away, which is you know softball length and it's about 15 inches wide so let's see how close we can come to throwing a strike here right down the middle that thing's throwing at about 60 plus i really don't know i don't have a a speed gun but uh it's it's humming in there pretty good let's see if we can duplicate that it's been pretty accurate during the little trial run i'm doing let's uh we're going to do it again. Alright, so that one threw a little low, but it was on. Just a little low. I really don't want anything that's going to throw it right down the middle every time. So a third ball. It's getting a little damp with the night air. So that might have a little bit of intake on it. So, you know, my son's going to run in front of me. Right, I'll go, I'll go over there for a second. Let me finish this up, okay? All right, let's do the third two. Got a little in. It's still a pretty good pitch. Considering, you know, my plate here is roughly about 13 inches wide compared to a 17-inch home plate. We'll throw another one. You see my pitching machine. It's pretty smooth. I mean, to be spending 1,750 RPM. I'm pretty smooth. Okay, let's throw another one here. Running a little in, so right now it's running, it's pushing the ball a little on the inner half of the plate. I'm really not positive why, but we can make an adjustment for that. We can always make that adjustment. Uh, So let's try to let's see if we can get it. See if it goes in there again. Little in and low. But uh, as you can see, I mean, my ball will throw. I can make adjustments to my machine to to get it tuned in and, and ready to go. But I think it's throwing as fast as I would like it to throw. And like I said, this wetness out here has got me a little messed up but I'm gonna throw another one. That one's probably a strike. Throwing it pretty quick. I'm gonna throw another one. That one was on the inner half so throwing a little inside so let me make a slight adjustment see if we can get it over the plate a little bit. Because I'm not that far off, so let's see if that made a difference. Let's see if we can get it over the middle now. A little up, but it was over the plate. And that sucker's humming it in there at at least 60, probably closer to 70. You know, most pitching machines like this, they run about 1500 bucks. I've got about, I don't know, 40, maybe. 60 bucks tied up in this thing overall, you know, with all the materials I had laying around my shop and dimmer switch I found.